This is episode 81. Today we are going to be talking about purpose and why having a sense of purpose can have an impact on our health and our longevity. I'm joined with my co-host Claire Nicolau. Welcome Claire. Hi Lisa. Fantastic to have you back here again today. So we are your co-hosts for Alternative Health Tools where together we discover and share alternative health tools from different health practitioners from across the globe. So purpose then Claire, what are we going to talk about today? Well I'm, I'm, I re- I'm really interested in this topic and The reason that I wanted us to have a chat about this was because it seems to have come up quite a bit in the last couple of weeks, just with people that I've had conversations with. So I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, and she was telling me about her partner who retired a few months ago. And she said he was really busy for the first few months and quite euphoric about the fact that he'd retired. And now um, she feels that he has, you know, the sort of the honeymoon period, if you like, has worn off. And what she said to me is she said, I don't think he's got enough of a purpose. I need to work out how, you know, how to help him find a better purpose, set him jobs or you know, something like that. <laughs> and um, and that's just one of a, a two or three conversations I've had um, over the last couple of weeks where purpose has come up. And I just think it's a really interesting topic. So I've looked into it a bit further. Fantastic. And I, th- I do agree with that because when I think about people I know through all ages in life, I have conversations with people and I observe people and I think... When people retire, I think you can see the people who then go on to have a different purpose from their career life. So whether that's a hobby and their purpose changes or actually even younger generations who are in work, they still don't feel like they know what their purpose is in life. So purpose is is quite a hot topic, like you're saying. So we're going to explore that a little bit more. And I believe you've got some scientific evidence for us. I do. And you know how much I like my scientific evidence. Please do share. This is very Um, exciting. This is really exciting, actually. There is a, um, a study and it only came out in May this year. And it was published by a network called JAMA, J A M A, which is an international peer reviewed um, general medical um, network. And this was a study done in the United States of um, 7,000 US adults who were aged between 51 and 61, plus their partners um, of any age. So a a cohort of, of people and their partners, and they were Um, given a set of psychological questionnaires that were designed to evaluate um, the extent to which they believed they had a purpose, a purpose in life. And purpose was defined as a self-organizing life aim that stimulates goals, promotes healthy behaviors and gives meaning to life. So going back to the examples, it could be career, it could be a hobby, it could be absolutely anything. Yes, Yeah, absolutely. And the purpose of this study, the purpose of the study was to look at whether there was an association between people who identified themselves with a strong life purpose and health. Um, And the the measure of um, health in this um, study actually was death. Wow. So, yeah, big one. Quite severe. Quite severe. (laughs) So um, they looked at the the number of people that died during the study, which was 2006 to 2010. And I I believe there were about 700 deaths in in that group um, over that four-year period. And what they found, and this is the really exciting bit, I think, was that people without a strong life purse, uh, without a strong life purpose were more than twice as likely to die between the study years of 26 and 2010 compared to those who had a life purpose. And they found um, a statistically increased risk of dying from cardiovascular disease in the group of patients that didn't have a life purpose. They're very insightful results, aren't they? Absolutely. If you're listening out there, listeners, then... uh, We need to think about what our life purposes are and we'll talk a little bit more about, you know, how we can make life more purposeful as we go through the podcast. But there's some fantastic stats in in that um, piece of 
information there and you, as you said it's really recent as well it was only published in may 2019 yes yes wow. that's right we'll put a link to it in the show notes Brilliant. but one of the things um that we won't get bogged down in the statistics at all but one of the things that i just want to um tell you about that study was that um the association between the low level of purpose in life and subsequent death um was true regardless of the wealth of the individuals, the gender or the race or education level of those individuals, because I think it might be easy for people to think, well, you know, if you are, uh, you know, wealthier and, you know, you're married or you have a big family, for example, you're going to have more of a purpose, you're going to find it easier, you're then going to be healthier. So what I'm hearing there is if we've got two people who are from the same background, the same race, the same gender, and they've been through the same education. If one's got a purpose and the other one hasn't, potentially the one with a purpose is going to live longer. Potentially, yes. Wow. It is, isn't it? Fascinating. I think I think that is a I think it has a wow factor this study. It really, really, really do. does. I really do. So yeah. for listeners out there, let's start thinking about our purposes in life, which kind of leads us on to talking about our purpose in life. So would you like to share how you feel about purpose and what your purpose or purposes are in life, Claire? Definitely. I think before I do that, can I just say that for me, I think there is a difference between purpose and goals. Right. So for me, purpose is more the being thing and goals is more the doing thing to get to the being thing if that makes sense. Makes total sense. Yeah. So if I think, okay, I, uh, I want to be fit enough to be able to cycle a hundred miles. That for me is a goal. That isn't a purpose. My purpose isn't to be able to cycle a hundred miles. My purpose is to maintain my health at a level such that I don't get ill and I feel good and energetic and vibrant. So, so that's what we're saying purpose. is your purpose is to be fit and healthy, whereas your goal is to cycle 100 miles. Yes. Yeah, so I can put a goal in place. I can put several goals in place that relate to that particular purpose. So I'm hearing from you, you've got more than one purpose in life. I definitely have more than one purpose in life. I have many purposes in life. Another purpose of mine is to be a good mum. Got two teenage daughters. It's a, it's a strong purpose that I have to, to be a good mum. Um, and in order to achieve that purpose, I have got to put certain steps in, in place. But that's, that's, that's probably one that is, you know, I, I guess an obvious one for parents. So let's, let's, let's have a think about non family related purposes, I think, because when you're looking at, if you look at this study, for example, they were looking at people who were in the 51 to 61 age bracket. So they would be people, many of whom would have had their families and their families will have, you know, moved away and, and gone off and they may not have the same kind of parental sense of purpose. So if we take that out of the equation, what other purposes can, do, do we think, you know, could, that the people might have? Well, give me, give me some examples for you. I think talking to people over the years and, you know, talking to people about purpose, different people have a different perspective on what purpose is. So one lady I met once, she said, I just wish I could find out what my purpose is in life. And she was waiting for this big epiphany moment. You know, once <laughs> she knew what her purpose was, she was kind of there in life. And one of the things that I've learned is a bit like you say, you know, there's a family purpose if you've got children. And I think what happens as we go through life is we might have, you know, one or two big purposes in life. But I think there's different purposes as we go through different chapters of our lives, which is exactly what you're saying about the family thing. And for me, it's, it's seeing when people, you know, retire from work. It's like their purpose was maybe their career. Yes. And their purpose was to be successful and, you know, work really hard and, and climb that corporate ladder. Or maybe be of service, depending on what their job was, what their career was. When they retire, what I've witnessed and observed from different people is some people either give up and and they don't know what their purpose is anymore because their job's gone, their career's gone, and they don't know what why they get up in the morning. And then I see other people who then find a different purpose. So they might find a hobby, they might take up golf or, you know, 
get a dog and go dog walking every day or go away for weekends or whatever it is. And what I've noticed and witnessed with people is having a purpose doesn't have to be a big life goal and a life epiphany. It can be different, smaller things that we can implement on a daily basis. Would you agree? Definitely. Definitely. And I think one of the things that you said was very interesting was about, again, going back to when people retire, um, they lose often that um, sense of people having relied on them for something. And I think if anyone is thinking about, you know, what can I make my purpose, have a think about where you can help somebody and have somebody that will rely on you for something. And that can become something quite small. It can be putting your elderly neighbor's bins out, for example. It can be giving some volunteering time to your local community hospital or, you know, volunteering in a shop. Or if you're good at music, it can be teaching somebody how to play the piano or how to sing. I think that there is a real sense of purpose to be gained by knowing that you can give something to somebody, whether that's your time or your talents, and have that person appreciate that in return. I love that concept. And for me, that's about connection and connecting with people or, you know, even if it's an animal or whatever, or nature, it's about having that connection, isn't it? And that's for me, it's that feeling of being connected to something that's outside yourself, whether you're giving a service or your time, whatever it is. It's, it, I think it comes back to connection. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, it does. And then it comes back to feeling good yourself. No selfless acts, aren't there? No selfless, <laughs> you could, no you selfless could acts. You could cycle that 100-mile bike ride for charity, but actually you get a good feeling out of Definitely. it. Definitely. So there's no selfless act because ultimately we only ever do things in life for a feeling don't we We do we do and let that be a good feeling feeling. yeah we love good feelings don't we exactly just gone so I was just going to say you know what are our top tips to our listeners so if, if they're thinking now gosh what is my purpose in life am I living my purpose what how can people out there live a more purposeful life so the thing I would say I guess because this may not be a great epiphany straight away, is to just take some time to sit and reflect about what you love and what you where you would like to be in an ideal world. You know, what what is the best use of your time? Actually, when you when you strip aside the things that you need to be doing, maybe, you know, for a financial from a financial perspective, what is what can you do in your time that is really important? I love that. And it doesn't have to take a lot of time either, does it? It no. can just be something simple that you can incorporate into your daily routine, I guess. Like, you know, we said earlier, it could be just taking your neighbor's bins out and helping them if they're an elderly person or just going out and helping in the local community, even if that's once a month. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, I completely agree. I completely agree. It doesn't have to be a big thing. I think giving your time and your talents to other people if you do nothing else, just try and do a little bit of that and, and and think about how that's going to impact on the way that you feel about yourself. I think it can only make you feel good. And the more we feel good, the more we want to do things to make ourselves feel good. Love it. Claire and I would love to hear what you feel your purposes are in life. So listeners, please do get in touch. You can contact us, feedback at lifehacksforliving.com and let us know what types of life purposes you have and you live by on a daily basis. Myself and Claire, so Lisa Victoria and Claire Nicolau, were your co-hosts for today. If you like what you've heard today, please do tell others about this podcast. We can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify and on any others where you get your episodes from. Until next time, take care.